cruise ships, these floating hotels sail all around the coasts of Europe. But this luxurious fleet doesn't just carry passengers, it also helps to drive science forward. There is a quite high level of air pollution in the, over the Mediterranean. And uh, there is a lack of, uh, of data about this, we don't know enough. So we need more observations and the ship is a very good platform for making observations because it covers a large area, particularly along the coast where we often have air pollution problems. Measuring air pollution at sea has to be done on board a vessel, but running a dedicated ship would be prohibitively expensive. So scientists from the European Commission's Joint Research Centre asked for a free cabin on a commercial cruise ship and got it. It has a trajectory in the western Mediterranean. It starts here in Savona, then it goes to Barcelona, uh, Palma, uh, Malta, Catania, Naples, and then back to Savona. So it makes this a trip every, every week. Uh, we have now been do doing this kind of measurements for uh, starting from 2006, always in the same area, following more or less the same route. Uh, so this gives us a data set that allows to look at trends to see how the situation is changing from year to year. Air pollution at sea comes from big urban centers, land transportations and shipping. The scientists come aboard to carry out maintenance but leave before the cruise starts. All the measurements are automatic. The air gets in through these two tubes. One is for gas measurements and the other is for particle measurements. And then it's being measured in here in this cabin. These are analyzers for one is for, for SO2, one is for NOx. And this is uh, measuring uh, soot, so it's measuring particles that are dark and absorbing light. Uh, and then we have uh, an instrument for uh, measuring carbon monoxide. Uh, and then we also measure ozone. These are all the measurements we are doing. The station takes air samples non-stop at sea and in port. The data sent by satellite internet to the JRC headquarters in ISPRA is used to feed and check computer models that simulate air pollution. Scientists at the JRC interact with the ship's monitoring station remotely. With this data acquisition system, we can access the data easily without having to be physically present on the ship, which is hundreds of miles away from here. And that makes our work much simpler. Measurements taken at sea fill a gap in scientific knowledge, making it possible to improve existing models and understand different sources of pollution better. They also demonstrate the effectiveness of policy changes, like the new EU requirements for low sulphur shipping fuel, which entered into force a few years ago. If we look at the European harbours in the Mediterranean area here, uh, like Savona, Barcelona and others, we can really see the impact of the new regulations. We can see a, a decrease of uh, two-thirds, of 66% in the SO2 concentration in ambient air in the harbours. While in Tunis, which of course is not covered by these rules, uh, there's no change at all. Sensors can't detect everything that takes your breath away on a pleasure cruise. But they can help ensure that if there is something in the air, it's something nice. <laughs>